<gasps> that would be a perfect plant to showcase during like a weird plants video at Halloween. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a haul video, I mean not a bit of a haul video, a whole haul video um, because I did a bit of plant shopping. Um, I know, but I'm very very excited about these because I've never had any of these plants before and it's something that I'm exploring into, you could probably guess from that if you've been here for a minute, but I did some shopping at Conservatory Archives. And I know these are in bags, but I online shopped these. So Conservatory Archives, I think they've got a few different shops throughout London. And if you order in London, I guess they hand deliver it, but they also do shipping throughout the UK as well if you're interested in buying um, and you're not in London. But you'll get yours in a box, probably not hand delivered by a courier in like bags. Um, I was very, very surprised to get mine like this. I was not expecting it in the slightest, so yeah, just very excited to show you what I've got here, because I enjoyed this online job. But before I get into it, I just want to say if you're new here and you don't know me already, hi, my name is Emma and I make houseplanty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my houseplanty journey and maybe learn something along the way, stick around, watch some more of my videos, and subscribe to my channel. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I hope you enjoy this video as well. Right, let's get into it. So I've been to a conservatory archive store before, but I've not actually bought anything from them. Um, but one thing I do know is they have a great set of cacti and succulents. Like, I feel like that's kind of what my head goes to when I think of them. They don't have like tons and tons of rare tropical aeroids or anything like that, but they do have lots of gorgeous cacti succulents. And because I'm getting into them more, I did a little order. So let me, let me pull it up. The first thing I saw on their site, which I was super duper excited about, was that they did like mixes of rare cacti. So I got eight rare cacti in 7.5 centimeter pots for originally 39 pounds but I ha I got my I subscribed to their newsletter or whatever got 10% off um so it ended up being 35 pounds for eight rare cacti um which is cool they had succulent ones as well but I'm I'm not quite as into them as I am cacti so I got the cacti one and that's what I'm going to show you first all eight of them are in this bag and I'm scared and nervous and I'm probably gonna get stabbed several times while making this video. Um, I don't know where to begin. Okay, let's start with this one. Uh, oh, thank goodness they're, um, they're labeled. So this one, really freaking cool. It is a ferrocactus. Marco Discus. And I mean these though these spines are like quite lethal, they all kind of point inwards, which I feel like makes it okay. Like it's it's not that bad. They're like very sturdy. They're not like the tiny little ones that really get jammed in your skin. Like I feel like if you get poked by this one, it's kind of like getting poked by a safety pin. Like it hurts, but it's not that bad. Um but Oh, I, this is really cute. It's like a little blob. And I like how the spines are like pinky striped on them. It's very different and not something that I would have like would have thought I would be good at. So all of these they're gonna be like an experiment obviously because I'm not like I'm still not perfect at cat and succulents. I'm getting better but I'm not like amazing. So I'm just trying my luck with these. This one is like fairly similar in vibe. Oh my god, these words have so many layers. Echino fossilocactus coptonogonus. <laughs> I 
will write all of these on the screen because I know I'm going to absolutely butcher how they're said. But this one's got a little bit more ridges and the spikes are kind of similar to the previous one. But I just really like these sort of bluey tones that cacti have. I feel like it, it gives me the blue silver vibes that I really like in Aeroids, but in a cactus. Like I, I'm, I'm still learning how to describe them. I can't describe them in the same way that I would um, a sort of tropical plant. But I'm really excited for these. And now that I have like a cabinet for them as well, I am not worried that Cleo's gonna get into them or anything and stab herself. So like I don't mind having some like spiny things. Also, I don't know about you, but um, whenever, whenever I see a cactus, I mean, whenever I see any plant, I'm like a toucher. I like to feel the leaves. Um, like even when I was at Kew Gardens, I was like, oh, plant, hee hee. Um, I didn't take anything, obviously, but like, I, I just like to touch them, not harm them, but touch them. And so even when I see a cactus, I'm like, ooh, is this spiky? And it usually is. But <laughs> these ones aren't that bad. They're not as like lethal as I feel like some others could be. Okay, um, where to next? I guess I'll pull th this one out. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, this is um, an Echino Ceres uh, And it's got like much smaller sort of spines. And it almost acts like it's gonna get like twisty. But it's, it's not. Oh, whoa. It's like squishy. That's weird. I kind of love it. it like it, they don't feel real. Like they just feel like something completely out of this world and I am absolutely here for it. So those three are all kind of quite similar. The rest of these are, I feel like much different. This one is like super blobby. Look at that. Um, this is, uh, I really shouldn't be saying any of these names. You're gonna see how like friggin' dyslexic I am. Cory Pin, the elephant, elephant, elephant hiddens. <laughs> Basically any word that has over eight letters, my brain like really struggles with it. So I have to like separate it out in a little bit. But this one, it's just so blobby. I love that so much. And it does have some spikes on top, but again, they're like not outwards. They're more, they're like little starbursts almost. They look like little stars on it. And they don't really have them on the sides as much. Like they're much smaller on the sides. So maybe it's just growing bigger, but I'm really hoping that all of these like the light they're gonna get in their new home, AKA my um, Rudsta. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is completely different. Like a whole different type of thing. This is a uh, Mammalaria. Um, Painteriae. <laughs> pain, pain. Um, <laughs> Mosturosa. And it's like, little it looks like a sea anemone to me i feel like cacti they remind me of stuff that go under the sea and these ones have like hair like spines which i feel like are out um are going to be much more lethal than the than the sort of like thick spines that the other ones have had this is just so strange and like otherworldly or like underwaterly. It like, like I'm fascinated by these and I am gonna have to do a whole lot of like Googling to make sure I know whereabouts in my cabinet that they should go. Cause I don't wanna like put them in like the wrong spot uh, like or give them too much or too little light. So it's gonna take probably a little bit of trial and error to figure these out. And I probably will end up putting most of these in semi-hydro because that's how I feel like I've done the best with cacti so far. This is also very different. This is an Echinoceras gent 
gentry eye. A much more like long and skinny as opposed to like the super roundy like globe sort of cacti that I've had previously. And like again almost a little bit spirally, like very very slightly spirally. They're not that bad, <laughs> but I think that they would probably get stuck in your skin. These are, like, this is just really exciting. And there's tons and tons of little baby ones in this one. Like, all down there in the bottom here as well. There's just lots and lots of babies. So, maybe this one kind of, instead of growing up and big, it'll grow babies. Exciting. And then I got two more. These ones look like the most l lethal of the bunch. Ow. Um, this is the first one. Again, kind of a globey sort of thing, but still tall. This is an Echinopsis hybrid CV O <laughs> Haku Jo Maru. <laughs> Please tell me if I'm pronouncing any of these things wrong because I, I don't know and I don't want to be responsible for, um, pronunciation, but it's so cool and these are the kind that have like tons of spikes like a lot a lot a lot of spines and like they've got the kind of like the furry ones in there as well like they look all furry and again this one has like some down at the bottom that look like they're going to branch off of it at some point which is really freaking cool i I am so pleased with these. Um, this one is also quite intense and spiky, um, which is fun. I say that I'm, all of them are going to be spiky. They're freaking cacti. Um, and then there's this one, which is kind of insane. <laughs> and I love it. Oh my goodness. So this is uh, Thelocactus conothelos. Conothelos. Um, and it's got both the spines that go sort of like out and down and the like super aggressive pokey uppy spikes. Ow. Um, I don't know why I do this to myself, but it's just who I am. I want to like know how pointy they are. <laughs> so I poke them. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me, but these aren't actually that terrible. These would probably hurt if you got poked by them. I mean they obviously did. They're quite sharp but it's not not as bad as the hairy ones because those are the ones that like are really really lethal. But oh my goodness. Okay so those are my eight mystery rare cacti. I don't know what constitutes as a rare cacti. I have never had any of these so they're rare to me. <laughs> they could be super common to somebody else but they're super rare to me. And now I have a whole other bag because I couldn't just stop at that. Um, I needed to get more because I thought they were pretty. So I have four more in here. Oh, maybe five. I might have gotten a little special bonus plant. That's exciting. Um, but let me pull them out. These ones are wrapped individually, which is exciting. <gasps> Holy freaking cow! <sighs> I know I ordered this one, but I am so freaking excited. I've got a freaking booby cactus, y'all. It's got boobs, and I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cool. They're little boobies. I am obsessed. So this one's actually the most expensive one of them all. Sorry, I've just got the prices down here on my phone. This one was originally 48 down to 43.20 with my um, newcomer's discount. And I know booby cactus are like quite uncommon. They aren't like, they aren't being sold loads. And whenever I do see them, I do see them for quite expensive. I did get, I think the middle size because I didn't want like a super duper tiny one, but I also didn't want to spend like tons and tons of money on it. But like, oh my goodness, holy freaking cow, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. 
Like, I'd say this is what I thought the large one was going to be, given I think they had measurements on the website, and I just... <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, it's just so exciting! <sighs> That I'm pr this this is a wish list plant of mine, and I own it. Oh my god! 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 Okay, holy cow, that's exciting! I am through the freaking roof with that one. Next, oh, that's so cool. This. This is an Optuna oh, Gossaliniana Var Santa Rita. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how that is pronounced. Um, this one was nine pounds um, and then down to eight pound ten. And I just think these ones remind me of like very traditional classic cacti. And so that's why I wanted it. And it's doing so well, like these bits at the top both look quite new, so it looks like it's quite happy. And like, it doesn't really have spikes, it's got like one here. Like very occasionally it's got spikes, but for the most part it's like just the little bumps. Which is fine and fun and exciting and oh, I think it's so cool with like the little red dots as well, it's kind of like polka dotted. I'm here for it. I, I love it so freaking much. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't, I never thought that I was going to be this sort of girl. I never thought I was going to be a cacti gal, but here I freaking am being a cacti gal. Okay, so I got this one because I thought it looked really weird. <laughs> and it might not be everyone's cup of tea. I don't know if it's my cup of tea, but... My brain was like, Halloween's coming up. <laughs> this is a good one to have. <laughs> like, what are these? So, to me, they kind of look like really long, witchy fingernails. <laughs> Which I know is, like, not cute, but I kind of love it. <laughs> like, my brain was like, oh, that would be a perfect plant to showcase during like a weird plants video at Halloween. And like, yeah, it would. It is so strange and odd. And like, I just don't want, like, these, they're kind of like flexible. They kind of feel like very, very, very thin fingernails. It's very strange and I love it. So this is um, a Tephrocactus Articulatus Var Papyra. Oh, it's a Papyra Canthus. That makes sense because Papyra, I feel like, is kind of like paper. And these are kind of papery. I, I can totally see that. They do kind of look like Papyrus. Not that that's what it is, but I mean Latin all comes from the same sort of thing, so. These are so exciting. So weird. So freaking strange and weird and I am obsessed. I, I'm really glad I got this one. I love it. <laughs> oh, who knew? Who freaking knew this is who I was gonna be? So this one is a sort of different type of cactus. All of these, I believe, are more desert cactus. And this one, is a jungle cactus. So this is a Lepispium bolivianum, which I can say. <laughs> um, and like I did get some cuttings of this sort of plant from Claire previously, but they died. I'm pretty sure they got thrips, which is kind of weird. I never expected a jungle cactus to get thrips, but it got thrips and I had to cut it up and it was just super duper unhappy. And so I got myself another one because I became like quickly quite obsessed with it. And like y'all know how much I'm loving jungle cacti at the minute. So when I saw that they had them and they weren't super expensive, it was like, of course I'm gonna get it. So this one was originally 15 pounds down like 
to 13 something. <laughs> 1350, if I can do math. Um, but yes, I'm so excited about this and I probably will hang it in my window of my bedroom with my other, like with my mistletoe cactus and near my fern leaf and stuff like that. So that is super exciting. Also, I don't think I told you the price on, not that one, I did tell you the price on that one. On this one, the super fingernaily one, this one was 12 pounds originally. So 10 pounds 80 um, with the 10% off. And then the last one, is one that I did not order, so I have no idea what it is. It must, like, I, I don't I don't think that they knew it was me that was doing this, so I don't think they just like threw in something free for fun. As far as I know, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I spent a lot of money. I spent like a hundred pounds. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so they got a, a thank you card in here which is sweet. So this must just be like a little thank you present. And I've spilled soil like all over my lap. Oh, that's really good. And they've got um, like a plant care advice or assistance like email as well. So if you want help with any of the plants that you've gotten from them, you can like send them pictures to an email and they can try and help, which is amazing. That's so freaking cute. So this is some sort of succulent. I feel like it's, a Haworthia or some sort of aloe. I, like I said, I'm not super duper familiar with succulents and cacti, so I wouldn't be able to like ID them from afar. Hopefully I'll get better now that I've got these. I can kind of get my bearings a little bit with them. So if anyone can ID this, that would be very much appreciated. I'll probably have a look on their website as well to see if I can ID it based off of what they sell. But oh my goodness, it's so freaking cute with its little spiny arms. Oh, okay, yes, I really like this. I'm excited about it. And there's like a tiny, 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 tiny piece of watch chain in there as well. I don't think this was intentional, but it might've just fallen off. So I could potentially try and propagate that, but I cannot guarantee that it would work. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a freaking amazing haul. Like I am so freaking excited about all of these plants and really looking forward to like this sort of journey that I'm going on into like this new realm of things. And it, it just feels unexpected and different and new and I kind of, I can kind of get more joy out of getting more cacti and succulents. It's kind of that new plant feeling. Whereas I have quite a lot of aeroids and tropical houseplants and stuff like that. I feel like I don't have as much joy of like something new and exciting because I have a lot of them. And so a lot of them, they'll be quite similar to things I have. Whereas these, they just all feel like different and alien to me. And so I kind of get that like new plant feeling even more with them. And oh my goodness, I still can't believe I have a booby cactus. Oh, it is so cute. I'm obsessed. Um, but yeah, so that is it. That is everything that I got from Conservatory Archives. They do also have tropical plants as well, if that's what you're interested in. But I was really going for it with the cacti and succulents here. Just the cacti. Um, so check them out for that. I will make sure to link all of these things down below if they are still in stock. And yeah, I, I'm like super duper pleased with them. I would definitely, definitely, definitely order from them again. I think they're like a little bit more on the expensive side, but a hundred pounds for eight, 12, 13 plants is not a bad, is not bad. I'm not mad at that. So yeah, so freaking exciting. Before I end this video, I just want to say a really big thank you to the newest member of my Good Growing fam, Amy. Thank you so, so much for joining. I really appreciate it. And I hope you love all the bonus content that I have going on over on my Patreon. Like all of the freaking, I think like over a year's worth of like monthly videos at this point. Tons of recordings of live chats and polls and like early access things. 
very exciting. Um, also, I should say, this is completely a side note for my Patreon stuff, but I do have some new merch out now. If you haven't seen my last video, I talked about it there, but I have these two new designs, which I'm super excited about, that I'm selling down below on goodgrowingmerch.com. Um, so check those out if there's something you're interested in. I am like so freaking happy with them and I am loving them at the minute. And if I didn't literally just wear the other one in the previous video, I would be wearing it again today. But I really wanted to wear purple today. I don't know why. I haven't worn purple in a while because my hair. Anyways, <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on which of these would be your favorite or which of these you'd want to add to your own collection. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to keep growing. Bye!